motorcycles and I bought my first motorbike. I had seen uh, the Yamaha R1s and I've seen the Busas and all the bigger bikes. And I said, let me have a motorcycle that's different from everyone else's. So I took my own motorcycle and I started chopping it down, making it the way I wanted. And the outcome was, it was mind blowing even for me. Thanks. And thanks Vikram for making half my speech about all the motorcycles. Uh, everyone who saw the motorcycle appreciated it for what it was. And uh, they urged me to go on and uh, turn it into a, into a business, which was not my first thought. Uh, I, um, I used to go for early morning flights, get up at 3 o'clock, do an early morning flight, come back in the day, build motorcycles. And one thing led to another. This is a photograph from 2005. That's me in the center. It really is me. <laughs> and See what the business has done to me. And those are my two assistants from back then. This is the first motorcycle that I built in 2005. It took me six months to build one motorcycle. I built uh, each part with my own hands, the, the tank, the mud guards, the handlebar, the headlamp, all of it. Uh, I must warn you at this point of time that I'm not an engineer. I studied hotel management, so the... The business was built purely on passion, but what I've realized over the years is it takes more than passion to sustain a business. And I'll come to that later in this, uh, in this chat. This is the first client order that I did. Uh, Stand-up comedian and celebrity Ash Chandler in Bombay ordered this motorcycle. Now you'll notice as we go along, the team, team got bigger. From a three-man team, it became a six-man team. This is, these are the motorcycles that we built from there on. With each motorcycle, we improved quality, uh, functionality, durability, you know, having to learn on the job from a day-to-day -day experience, took all our effort and energies. So you'll notice as we go along with these motorcycles that each motorcycle got better. Our team grew to a 15-man team. Now we have individual departments that take care of design, they take care of fabrication, that we have a paint uh, booth. Uh, nothing happened overnight, it took four long years each day and each hour was, was an enjoyment, but uh, it doesn't happen overnight. These are the motorcycles that we are building today. You can log on to our website and see the motorcycles. This is a motorcycle we built for we built this motorcycle for Mr. Jackie Shroff. He said, I want something out of this world. So I, I said, OK. <laughs> this has gone to the next world now. This is a motorcycle very dear to us. We built it for a friend. It's got uh, complete uh, Indian scriptures on the motorcycle. Uh, I'm going to play a, a short uh, video that will give you an insight into the processes that go into building these motorcycles and what it's all really about. And then I'm hoping that we can have an interactive session and chat about what I do, rather than me giving you a lecture and boring you with what we do back in the workshop. Hi, my name is Akshay Vasde. My company is called Vardenchi Motorcycles. The speciality of Vildenshi motorcycles is the chopper. The chopper is uh, the 21st century concept of the attitude motorcycle. The chopper is a byproduct of uh, motorcycle. People who are passionate about their own motorcycles did was actually chop down parts of their cruiser to keep the bare essentials and added their own personality to the motorcycle. Since it was chopped down to its you know, basic structure, it was known as a chopper. What we start out is we sit down with the client and understand his psyche. We then go to the drawing board and uh, actually design the motorcycle. We 
then uh, build it out from ground up, forming uh, the basic structure of the motorcycle, and uh, then start doing the sheet metal parts. The final finishing process is uh, consists of paint, chrome, and powder coat. Second is then completely assembled, we test it and get it ready for delivery. I'm ecstatic with the way the bike turned out. It turned out much better than I could have expected it to. The motorcycles have no humility in design, they're all wild beasts. The motorcycles are eight and a half feet long. They're heavy bikes, they have 200 mm rear tires. They have four feet wide handlebars and 20 liter tank capacities. So these motorcycles are basically large and menacing. You can't get more wider than that. I don't think you can go anywhere else in the world to see a bike that's built like this for the amount of money that it was built for. We could start a complete uh, styling and uh, customization job at 75,000. High-end versions go up to between 1.5 lakhs to 3 lakhs. So it really depends. There's no real fixed budget. Just come in and order what you want. We'll do it for you. Be driving on the bike and uh, like a girlfriend and boyfriend will be on their bike and you know the girlfriend looks at her boyfriend like, why don't you have a bike like that? You know, it's it's fun. Man. That's what being on this bike is all about. It's actually been two years since I've been uh, doing this. We're happy at what we do. And we hope to continue doing it for a long time to come. So, thank you. India produced 74 lakh two-wheelers last year. And uh, most people are under the impression that high-end vehicles only come from foreign countries like Germany and America and Italy. And I say, why can't we produce high-end automotive products? And so we're here to change that notion and come out with custom motorcycles on the mass scale. Thank you. I'm open to any questions you might have. Uh, These motorcycles are built on Royal Enfield engines currently. Going ahead, we're also going to be importing engines of higher capacities and launching custom motorcycles in varied engine performance ranges. Yeah, in your first photo, you have stopped yourself. <laughs> yeah, that I've chopped myself. <laughs> the first photo, by seeing you, you have chopped yourself. I have. Anyone has no questions? Such a big audience. You all are still in awe of the motorcycle. <laughs> You can raise your hand and I'm from Mumbai, sir. But we've uh, we've sent uh, motorcycles across the country. We've sent them down south to Bangalore, Mysore, uh, Tirupur. We've sent motorcycles to Cochin, a uh, couple of cities in Gujarat, Ahmedabad, Baroda. Sent motorcycles to Dehradun. I've sent motorcycles uh, to Nepal, Delhi. No, actually, I haven't sent a motorcycle to Chennai yet. But we can take your details. Make sure we'll send you a motorcycle. I mean, this is a small question. Why, why is it that uh, initial motorcycles have only one seat? <laughs> See, it's a, it's a good point. Uh, I was single then and now I'm not. <laughs> no. no, I'm still single actually, no. Uh, the, the thing is, we built the motorcycles as to the customer's requirements. So when people came and said, we want single-seater motorcycles, we build single-seater. And when they said, no, we want double-seater motorcycles, so we basically sit down with you and understand what kind of motorcycle you want and then build it specifically to meet your requirements. So if, if you want a single-seater, we give you a single-seater. If you want a double-seater, so be it. No specific reason why the earlier ones were single-seater. <laughs> now they're double-seater. Okay. More people have uh, girlfriends now. <laughs> what is the name, uh, Baldanchi? What is the reason behind the name Vardhan? The name of, a good question. Uh, my surname is Varde. Vardhanchi in my mother tongue, which is Marathi, means made by a Varde. So you say Vardhanchi motorcycles. I don't know how that converts in South Indian language. Maybe someone can help me out here. Yeah. 
Uh, hi, sir. Did uh, that answer your question, sir? Hi, sir. You restrict yourself only to chopper or you go for super bike designs also? Any, no, any one bike, I mean, you made super bike model type or you restrict only yourself to choppers? No, we don't do sports motorcycles. Uh, the motorcycles we build are meant for cruising and they are meant for leisure. They are not meant for speed and performance. Uh, you're, they are meant so you can enjoy your ride, not get on with it, get to your next place fast. First motorcycle I built took six months. <coughs> now in a month we built about six motorcycles. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's hey, been an enjoyment. One more, one more. What was the costliest bike till date you have made and who was the customer for you? That was Jackie Shaw's bike. That was the most expensive motorcycle we made. That took six months to build while we were building other motorcycles. Cost. That can't be disclosed. Taxation <laughs> 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 Maximum speed Maximum speed depends uh, to a certain extent on, on the uh, features of the motorcycle, whether you picked a 350 or a 500 engine. But uh, the last time we clocked, and uh, two weekends ago, we were doing a ride, and uh, we touched about 120 kilometers an hour on one of our bikes. And we're looking to uh, improve engine capacity in the future and do about 160 to 180 kilometers an hour. Uh, good morning. Um, I'd like to ask, uh, why are there no girls on your team? Uh, Sorry? Why are there no girls on your team? Oh, uh, good. That's a good question. I think we can do without the distraction. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> Thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you.